<laughs> We're going back to Home Bargains because I want the caterpillar and I, I may as well talk about it. This is a little extra. This is too extra. It's 10.45 now. I came back to the flat after getting the giant caterpillar because it made me so happy. I can't even explain why. And then we went to the market downstairs, but I think because it was projected to be rainy all day, there weren't our favorite vendors weren't there. So we just went to Gloucester Green again. Yes, I will. We went around city center and we're back. A flavor mint chocolate. Mint chocolate, but it's 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 in the dime bar. You should have got the waffle cone. They remodeled the phone booth with like families of mice. It's so cute. Oh, they're like little pirate mice. Little. Oh my god. I was just trying to unwind and not think about how behind I am in schoolwork that we will take care of that tomorrow. That's what Sunday's for. I have a 10 a.m. meeting tomorrow with my EP team to debrief our last meeting with our tutor. A pretty group project out. Starting a business from scratch is, is just not my thing, but we will get through it. And I'll see you tomorrow. It's Sunday, about two o'clock, and I'm walking back home. I just met with our EP team for the last three hours and I'm definitely never going to be an entrepreneur because you have to be a little crazy to go through that. We're still not done, so we're going to meet tomorrow. And we have two weeks left, so at least there's a finish line in sight. Woke up a little tired, so I'm going to keep today really low-key. And I need to catch up on some videos today. Outdoor section, waiting for roads. So in case it rains, we have an umbrella now. about 11 30 and i don't know i guess i've gotten to a habit of uh vlogging on my walk to school or city center and that's where i'm going i'm going to school to meet with my ep team i just did my class also this is british spring for you which feels a lot like british winter uh, except the sun's out longer Fine. We'll give him HP sauce, whatever that is. To give a quick background to our EP project, since I've talked about it so much already, we're a team of five people. Two of us are from India, and my other three teammates are from India, China, and Japan. Our startup idea is focusing on development in Southeast Asia and Africa, which is where my teammates have networks in. And here we are trying to figure out a five-year business plan. So a lot of brainstorming and hashing out of details is being done.
I'm eating breakfast now and I don't have plans today at all except to do some independent work on the EP deck that we need to present on Friday. Yesterday we met until 4 p.m. until some, one of us had to leave so we all just dispersed. I realized that it's virtually impossible to do any type of unstructured work like an entrepreneurship thing on Zoom. And I think that's why we were a million times more productive in person. I think you can do structured work like a project where you have, know exactly what you are doing. I think you could do that on Zoom, but anything where you're trying to brainstorm, it's it's really hard. Like, you probably just shouldn't do it. We're gonna meet at 8 a.m. tomorrow to just touch base and do a dry run presentation on Thursday and present on Friday. I was gonna do shopping today, but I think I, I might not because it's raining. The first block of this term was a little difficult for me because at this point I did quite a few rounds of interviews for companies I didn't eventually get offers for and it would be the situation of going to the final round of the interviews where at that point I had invested myself a lot into the company and the prepping so I was feeling really drained and dropped a course. I'm just taking EP in a course called Art and Science of Correlation and Causation so I could have a little less intense of a block and get refreshed for the next one. <laughs> <laughs>